them, mate. How's it looking tomorrow night? Grand final rematch. Obviously, the first game of the season, the first rematch didn't go your way, but a lot's happened since then. And, you know, you guys have found some form. How's the prep been this week? Yeah, really good. Uh, everyone's looking forward to it. Yeah, obviously, uh, grand final rematch, um, but, yeah, it's, we're well and truly into the season. So we're... we're Confident of the way that we've been going the last uh, five games. Uh, I think last five games, along with City, we're probably the two form sides. So it should be a good matchup, a good game. They're they're a top side. You know, obviously they showed that over the last few seasons, and um, and again this season, you know, top of the table, and uh, it'll be a difficult match, but one that we're looking forward to. I guess you know these kind of matches that you you know one you know like you know like as we said. Grand final rematch, two against another Melbourne team. You know the players must be up for this, hey? Yeah, definitely. The, you always, uh, you know, our players uh, always find an extra gear in these games as well because uh, you know they they are uh, derby games. Um, you know, teams that 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 uh, you meet quite often. Um, you know, the same was with Victory a couple of games ago, and and no different with City. We know them really well. Um, very similar side to last year. Changed a little bit in terms of their, their way of playing under Rado. Um, but, you know, it's one that the players look forward to because, uh, you know, you get two sets of fans uh, that are there at the stadium. So it creates a, a good atmosphere and um, it should be a good football game. Their change in the way they play, does that make them... So has that made them better or different, or sort of how do you prepare sort of differently? Oh, they're they're different. They're they're still really good. Obviously, they've uh, they've shown over the last uh, few games with Rado that uh, they play good football. They they uh, create a lot of chances. They can score goals. Um, and you know it will be a game that we have to be at our best if we want to get uh, the result that we want. So um, they've changed a little bit in terms of what they do defensively. And they've changed a little bit in terms of some of their movements with the ball, um, but you expect that. But they still got the you know that quality that um, you know, especially their front three we know about really well because they're all in our our soccer setup. So and then you know the foreigners have really added to their side. Um, you know Berisha and Van der Veen have been very good for them so far this season. Lamb at the back, um, and then you know, young Jordan Boss has uh, come along really well this season so far. So they've got really good quality all over the park. Mate, in terms of you guys, how's um, James Troisi and his, uh, and I guess I guess Nikolai is available again after suspension. Yeah, the Nikolai is available again, which is great because you know now we've got really good options uh, at the back. Um, also, James is improving all the time. Um, you know, he, he didn't quite make it last game, so we'll see for this one. Um, so we've got good options. You know, the only real one that we we, we know that we're not going to have is Stephen Lustica, so he's still out. But uh, other than that, we've got a, a really good squad, strong, uh, ready to go, and, um, you know, players that feel confident and in good form. So, you know, that's important when you're heading into such a, a big game like the uh, Melbourne Derby. What's the Troisi injury? What is it? Um, he had a tight calf last game, so you know it's it's one of those ones that uh, you don't want to risk uh, at this time of the year. He played with it in terms of uh, against victory, and he played through the game, you know, really well. So, but you know, if it's going to be a risk, we wouldn't we wouldn't risk it because there's still a lot of football to be played. But he's been he was in great form just before last game, you know, the against the Wanderers and against Victory was arguably our best player. So, um, you know, hopefully if uh, we get him back that he can keep that form up. Mate, Jamie McLaren was speaking this morning and he said uh, when he comes up against Western United, you know, like since you've been there too, like you, 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 you having coached him, you sort of know how he works and... Uh, he doesn't always have as much success against you guys as he does against other clubs. What um, what's your key to stopping him? You know, to, to sort of nullifying that. Yeah, with Maka, you have to be switched on every second of the game um, because you know even when you feel that he's not involved, he uh, he's he's moving. He's always on the move. He's always looking to see where he can receive the ball to score goals. Um, he's he's a great striker, you know, and he's shown. 
you know, with all the records that he's breaking, what he's capable of doing. You know, I was lucky enough to coach him, so I know him really well um, as a player, as a person, and uh, and you know, I loved working with him. And it's always difficult to coach against him. Believe me, he's uh, he's one of those players that uh, he doesn't give the centre backs a rest. So that's that's really the main message about you know uh, for our centre backs is just to be alive the whole time because um, Mac is there, he's ready to pounce and. Uh, if we can do that, then you know, hopefully we can shut him out. But uh, it's never easy against him. Mate, apart from breaking Bessart's record of the most goals uh, for an A-League striker, well, mate, what's left for him to do in the A-League? Do you think he needs to go back overseas to tick that off? To you know, in terms of he's been there a couple of times, has it worked out how, sort of how he's planned? Do you think, or do you think he's should just stay should just stay here? Um, look, that's up to Jamie. Um, I'm not sure what his ambitions are, what his goals are, but um, in terms of, you know, I'm being a little bit uh, selfish here, I'd love for him to stay in the A-League because, you know, I think it's great for the league and, and you know, I think that you want, you know, as many good players in the league as possible and, and he's definitely one of the best strikers, if not the best striker that we've ever had in the A-League. So, you know, if he stays here, you know, I'm sure that he'll... Uh, I know he's he's probably broken most records, but you know why not set a new high that you know no one can ever break, and uh, and so that that might might be the way he's looking at it. I don't know. Um, you know, it's hard to say what uh, you know what someone else's uh, goals are, but you know he's he's definitely shown what he's capable of doing, and you know he's he's shown for a number of years now, not just this uh, this season. What about what about? Um your striker, uh, sorry, sorry, Previch, is uh, you know scoring uh, sort of regularly now. I mean, I think was it last week or the week before you were talking about some talk about uh, him maybe moving, or there was some talk about him moving in January. Where's that at? Oh no, they. I got asked if you know if there uh, there will be any movement in January, and um, I don't think there will be. I hope not because I'd love um, Alex to stay because you know you you've seen you know since he's been in the side, the last five games we've won three, drawn one, and lost one, and you know and I'm not saying it's all down to Alex, but he's a big part of that, and uh, you know he's scored in in three of those five games. He's always. Uh, He's always one of those players in the box that you know if the ball uh, falls to him that um, you know he can score and you know he, he loves these big games especially and so you know we want to keep hold of Alex. Um, I know you know the way that he's training, the way that he's around the group that he's loving it again here and um, because he's back playing. You know at the beginning he wasn't playing because he you know he was uh, uh, getting over injury and getting uh, catching up with fitness, but um, he's only going to get better and better because uh, he's starting to look really fit now. Johnny, can we expect a better start from you guys tomorrow night? I think you said the other night with the short turnaround, your first start against the Raw, what, what, what it was, you know, the players weren't really at the at the sort of races. Have you worked on that this week with the with the uh, with the longer break? Yeah, look, I can see in the players' legs that they uh, this week they feel better, they feel fresher, they feel ready. You definitely will be a better start, um, that's for sure. You know, in saying that, you know, we the against Brisbane Raw, we didn't have a, a great game in terms of our first half and whatever, but we still had the the better chances of the game. We had more of the ball, um, and we should have, you know, in terms of our chances, won the game. And that's not playing well, so that's a good sign. And uh, we'll definitely be we'll be better this game. We'll be fresher. We'll be ready to go, and um, we can't wait.